Right, so I'm back out on my lawn for the first time in quite a while and I am absolutely surrounded by bees, as you can probably see and hear. Very, very loud. These are ivy mining bees and I'm testing the theory that they're really quite harmless because I'm right in the middle of them all, as you can see. So they're really interesting. They're solitary bees but as you might have guessed, they tend to nest in huge aggregations. So this is a favoured spot for them. It's a south facing lawn and there are thousands of them, <laughs> absolutely thousands. They're all over the front lawn and also all over the back lawn. Now what they do is make these very tiny burrows into the ground. Um, in which they will lay eggs. So the females come along, they will mate, and then following that, they will dig a burrow down into the lawn and they will excavate chambers, separate chambers, in which they will lay their eggs. But before they lay the eggs, they will need to go and collect pollen and nectar for the larvae that will hatch from the eggs. And the plant that they use, as the name suggests, is ivy. So I'm always telling people how brilliant ivy is. It's a very late flowering plant that's really crucial to a whole range of our wildlife. And this is one really good example. So at the moment it's providing pollen and nectar for a whole range of insects, in particular this one that we've got here nesting on the lawn. So they're really interesting little bee. They look a little bit like a honey bee, I guess. They have got sort of gingery hairs all over their thorax and the abdomen is stripy, really, really nice and stripy. They're quite cute little bees, really. They didn't arrive here in the UK until about 2001, I think. So they are relatively new and they're pretty much reliant upon ivy. I mean, if the ivy is a bit late, flowering then they will use other plants but ivy is their preferred plant. Now there are absolutely masses of them around me here right now and quite often you'll see the males fighting over the females so you'll often see a bundle of them actually where several males are all trying to mate with the same female and it will just be a big tangled mass of bees now I haven't seen that today. I think they've probably mostly mated because they are in the process of excavating the burrows and filling them with pollen and nectar at the moment. Now they'll only be here for a few weeks. The life cycle, it's fairly short, maybe up to six weeks they'll be here. That once they've laid the eggs and once those larvae have hatched, the adults will then die. Um, the larvae will pupate and then they'll hatch next year as adults to continue this whole cycle. So as I'm demonstrating, they're not bothering me at all. Um, as far as I'm aware, it's only the females that sting and you, you really have to squeeze them or provoke them to, to be stung. But actually walking and lying amongst them like this, right around their nests, doesn't seem to cause them to sting. They're very busy like this all the time. It's not just because I'm lying here. They're just constantly flying around their burrows and going off to collect food um, and obviously looking for mates before they do that. So, so it's really nice to have another of the solitary bees in the garden here. Um, we had quite a few here in the spring and now this is the autumn, the autumn solitary bee. So it's the latest um, flying solitary bee that we have. So it will sort of fly right up until November at a bit of a push. So this is the ivy mining bee. So quite nice to see so many.